Hey everyone, today in class we are going to discuss the least common multiple of numbers. Certainly I will provide you with three methods to calculate the least common multiple. But today we will only examine a single approach, and this particular approach is known as the listening method. Which involves attempting different methods and learning from the outcomes of each attempt. We will employ it alongside you on this very day. What will this method be about and how to apply it? First, let's take two numbers and find the least common multiple of the two numbers. Of course, we'll be looking at three numbers, but first we need to learn how to clearly determine the least common multiple. What do I need to do for this? So, what exactly do we need to consider for this method? If we need to find the least common multiple, it is written using this abbreviation. The text is concise and conveys the same meaning with fewer words, making it more efficient and effective. We need to find the LCM of numbers 2 and 5. Let's remember together what Kratnoi means in general. So basically we need to find a number that is divisible by both 2 and 5 without any remainder. Naturally, a lot of you have already deduced the number, but we will be honing our technique on straightforward, uncomplicated numbers. So, initially we will write down multiples of 2, then multiples of 5, and then find the common ones. Concise and brief, the second set of numbers, these are the subsequent numbers in the sequence. So, those numbers that are divisible by 2, and we initiate with the smallest multiple, there is no doubt about it. So that's the number 2, number 2, 2 divides by 2. But besides 2, the number 4 is also divisible. 4 divides evenly by 2. Following that, the subsequent numbers in the sequence are 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on, continuing in an uninterrupted pattern without any gaps or missing values. Following that, I will proceed to write down the multiples of 5 in sequential order, starting from the first multiple. These are the next numbers, meaning the numbers we list that are divisible by 5 without a remainder. This is number 5, this is number 10, this is number 15, this is number 20, 25, 30. Well, and so on, I mean, I cannot write, pay attention, I mean, I continue here, I cannot write the largest number that is divisible by 2 or the largest number that is divisible by 5, and so on. All these numbers are divisible by 2, and the bottom line is that all numbers are divisible by 5. So now I am figuring out if we have a common one, I choose common ones. And if not, I select the next largest number that is divisible by 2 or 5 and continue the process of finding the common ones. Multiples of both these two numbers, namely 2s and 5s, need to be considered in the calculation. You can effortlessly locate them since we have these numbers duly recorded and documented. So what is the total number that I see? I see the number 10, and here is a tenor, which is a 10 pound note. So I write down 10 here, I have a couple more numbers that divide, meaning they have something in common. Multiples of 20 and another number 20 here. And as you understand, there will be a whole bunch of these numbers too. The only thing I showed you were just two numbers that are divisible evenly by 2 and 5. Well, at this particular moment in time, we are in need of finding the least common multiple in, in order to proceed with our calculations. But I see that if I choose the smallest number from the common multiples, it will be 10. That's it. So I discovered this number and it is the number 10, just checking. 10 can be divided evenly by 2 and 10 can be divided evenly by 5. Therefore, 10 will be the smallest common multiple for the numbers 2 and 5. If I'm going to jot the common multiples, there will be a bunch of them. It will be 10, 20, 30 and more. 50 and 40 and so on. However, the smallest number will be the number 10. Here is a simple method to locate the least common multiple for two given numbers. If you have three numbers or four numbers, you still go through these multiples and then find the common multiple and then the least common multiple of these numbers. Next class, guys, I'll show you another way to find the least common multiple. That's a wrap for today's lesson. Goodbye, until we meet again.